Greetings everyone, and welcome to another installment in my Abandonware series, a series in which I'm going to be sharing videos that were scrapped and unfinished for various reasons. Pretty much all of these are going to be job lots, but there's probably one or two videos that are unfinished that are like reviews that I could publish in the series. I don't know, I have to go through my archive. And the videos in the series will be edited like normal, but just won't have like a proper ending. That's where I'll add in a narration reflecting over why the video didn't work or why it was scrapped. The video you're about to watch was almost three and a half hours of total footage filmed on November 23rd, 2020. 2020, I'd went back to this new fancy e-waste place and spent the most I've ever spent e-waste in one go and that was $590. And I did actually feature some of these devices in later job lots I think, but most of these I believe I kept for my collection. And this was during COVID, so it was in one of the sporadic let's open everything for a few weeks and then lock everything down again phase. So I went nuts when I went there and looking through over 2,000 odd forwards and picking what I wanted. I then came back home and filming this I was just quite unhinged, but that's I guess to be expected acted in the uh, in the time we're all in back then and uh, can I even say COVID? I think that might be illegal. Oops. Um, at this point in time I have this video and I definitely have six other failed job lots from the last four years to go in this series so expect some more failed job lots soon. I do have an actual proper big job lot that was filmed and is over almost a day's worth in footage but that may be one of the last proper job lots for a while as I think I'm getting less and less at e-waste now but you never know things could change. It takes me long enough to deliver, you know, one good job lot. And I do prefer putting out little mini ones because as the footage builds up, the more I look at it and go, oh, fuck, what have I got myself into sort of thing. But uh, yeah, here's the third foul job lot. Stick around till after the video. That's where I'll give a brief summary of what exactly went wrong. But I can tell you now, I ended up filming too much footage and got tired and things weren't really too exciting. But at least you finally get to see the most expensive job lot. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Hi everyone, welcome to another job lot. There's just a problem, my gloves aren't on properly. That's not the problem. The problem is, I filmed four job lots at this point in time. I filmed about nine and a half hours of footage and I haven't edited a single second of any of it. And here I am doing another job lot because I just, I found a new place and I've just been going, it's great. Okay, so I have a, a box full of phones. I think there's 59 in here or something like that, but I paid 590 bucks Australian for all of this. I'm hoping I can make my money back on it somehow. This is, I have this down for a reason. I have the, the little towel down for a reason is because we need to analyze the devices first. And, uh... We've got some collectible ones in here, but we've also got some generic Android ones that we just need to test and make sure that they're working. This is the same place that I got the Engage QD, the Nokia 3650, and a couple of other ones. This place is basically a gold mine, and um, yeah, I just bought a whole bunch of random stuff. It doesn't matter, it's fine. So in no particular order. We have another tablet, but this, this, this is no regular tablet. No, it's not a regular tablet. It's got some scratches on it. It's fine. It's just that it claims that it's 1080p full HD. Does that mean the screen or does that mean that that shitty little camera? Actually, there's no shitty little camera on the back. Um, then the shitty little camera on the front. Hang on. Oh yeah, the shitty little camera on the front is capable of 1080p full HD. That doesn't make sense. Obviously, I'll just try and power it on first just to see if anything happens. Probably not because it's probably dead. But yeah, I picked it up because it said Full HD on the back, and I thought, huh, I bet that's not true, and that's why I grabbed it. But each of these devices that I'm showing you cost me 10 bucks. Doesn't matter what it was. If it was broken, if it was damaged, or whatever, 10 bucks. Can't argue with that. So that can go in the, uh, we need to test pile, because I don't know what to do with it. The reason I'm also wearing gloves is because this is all e-waste stuff, and stuff from e-waste can be quite dirty, so... I'll uh, keep these gloves on for the duration. I actually wore gloves when I went there today, and by the time I'd went through 2,000 phones, my gloves were absolutely ripped to shreds, so I had to borrow the e-waste guy's gloves to go through the 2,000 phones. Yes, I went through 2,000 phones. There was four boxes with 500 phones in them each. I feel dead going through them, but it was worth it. Anyways, have a note edge here. I have a battery and a back cover for this, I believe. The screen looks okay, uh, there is no S Pen, and there is no back cover, no battery. 
It's just as it is. If the display doesn't work, then I've got the motherboard. But I'm hoping the display works. I mean, I've had some pretty cracked ones in the past that have worked no problems, so... Uh, we'll have to see. I took my S10 out there today instead of my Galaxy Flip because I didn't want to damage it because I knew that I'd be having to take out my phone or something like that while I was jumping through bins and stuff. So yeah, I took my S10 with me and it doesn't have the latest stock in my suitcase so I just basically had to guess and I'm like, I think I've got a Note Edge. I think I do. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Uh, the next one is a Note 2. Why did I get a Note 2? It's because... In the previous job lot, I had a Note 2, I believe, and I put it together, and it worked, and then it didn't work. So the OLED's damaged on this, but the motherboard should be okay. Uh, this has an S Pen as well, and the frame's in half reasonable condition. The next one is an S5 Mini. I have featured three on this channel, in this channel's existence, and none of them have worked. This one may be the first one. Maybe. The AMOLED looks okay, there is a small crack on the glass just there, but I just want to try an S5 Mini because I've never tried one. Doesn't have a back cover, doesn't have a battery, but I thought, hey, I'll give it a go, it looked okay, and I sort of rubbed it with my glove while I was there and sort of shined it under a light and was like, Ugh, don't see any damage, don't see anything, probably see something now. We, we'll try it out, you never know. The next one is a Motorola something or other, not too sure what it is, probably have to open it up and I'll tell you. It is an XT1758, 1 gig plus 16 gig storage. It is dual SIM. No battery, so I can't test it. And the last battery that would have fit in this, I've already sold the phone, so um, that's not fun. But yeah, that's that one. Now you're probably wondering, where, where's the collectible phones? Where, where's the collectible ones? S'mores? We're getting to them, alright? We're getting to them. Uh, this is an Honor. We've had an Honor on this channel before. It was an Honor 9. This is an Honor 6... Five, maybe a four? I switched it on while I was there. And I was like, cool. It's cracked up there. But that's that's fine. It just just needs a buff. You know, look look, see? We've already fixed it. Problem solved. You can't see it anymore. Yeah, I did this while I was there, I powered it up. And uh when I done this, I was like, okay. And then it says battery dead, which will come up very soon. Wait for it. 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 There we go. And it's dead. Um, so we can try that one. Now I'll just open the SIM tray area up to see if we have any SD cards. Oh, we have a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Ooh, that's interesting. And it's a SanDisk Ultra one too. That's interesting. Okay, this is, this is funny. What you're seeing here is two Note 8 display assembly things. In one of my job lots, I did a Note 8 reassembly where I got a screen off AliExpress for like 30 bucks and it's cracked. It's got a lot of cracks in it. So I found these and the back cover's damaged and I found this one and I thought, well, I'll grab them. 10 bucks each. If they don't work, whatever. If they work, then I have a slightly better AMOLED screen on my Note 8 than I already have on it. The problem is this one is like so. Pretty sure that one's going to be busted. But this one is only just cracked just there. It might be okay. And it looks good. The frame is also very, very nice as well. But there's a small, tiny little problem. And it's called the last person that was in here decided that the battery should be pulled out as fast as possible and with no compromises done whatsoever because they've just ripped it out like that and damaged the uh, aluminium frame. But with a pair of pliers, we can put that back into place and shove a motherboard in there and hopefully it works. All the flex ribbons are kind of there. I just have to put everything into this and see if it works. I will probably do this off camera because, my God, it's probably going to take a while to do, but... I just want to see if it works. Actually, would I be able to have the carcass of my Note 8 laying down and then put... No, that wouldn't fit. And also, that flex ribbon needs to stay in there because I don't want it getting damaged. It could already be completely damaged, but I don't know. And my Note 8, by the way, doesn't even... um have a working charger port. I was at an e-waste place having fun, okay? I just bought a lot of things. You'll see. Next one may rattle some bones. No, that's not the one. This is a Fairphone. I have a Fairphone. 
I have a battery for a fair phone, but this is missing the back cover and the battery, but I believe these are extremely rare, especially ones that supposedly have a Kickstarter thing or something. I really don't know. I just wanted a second fair phone because I seen the fair phone and I decided to just buy the fair phone, but we can try it. I'll grab my battery out. We can try it, but I'm just showing you what I've got first, which is quite a lot. We have an S5. We have an S5 with a tempered glass screen protector on it. However, it looks like the OLED is damaged. I'm not too sure, or it could be the tempered glass. It's really hard to tell because there is a bunch of fingerprints, but it has the original charger port and there is no back cover and there's no battery, which is a common thing in this job lot. There is no battery and no back cover, but that's okay. I have lots of them laying around and I could easily open up my drawer next to me with S5 parts in it to put them in. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. This is very hectic and I'm going to go through this as fast as I can. Boop. Little iPod. I got it because... I don't have an iPod like this with a camera at the bottom. Yeah, I, I don't know if this will work or anything like that. I don't know, just a little iPod thing. It's pretty cool. It has a headphone jack. This. This, my friends, is... Is this an S8 Plus or is this an S... Hang on. I think this is an S8 Plus. No, this is an S8. G950U. No, it's not a Plus. It's fine. It's not a Plus. Okay, this S8 here, for all you American viewers out there, you might be able to see a slight detail in the fact that it says Galaxy S8 on here. The European ones don't say that, and this is a G950U, which I believe this has a Snapdragon in it. And I have a couple of S8s for my own collection, and both of them are the Exynos ones. I seen this and I went, I wouldn't mind having a Snapdragon S8, because why the hell not? And if we build one, because this one has no OLED, it has a battery and everything in it. If we build one from another job lot where I uh, had some and I didn't kind of finish off the building procedure with them, no SIM, no um, SD card in there either, uh, we might be able to get a working Snapdragon S8, which would be really cool. It's just we have to grab the back of it off in one piece. We don't have to grab the back off it in one piece because I'm going to make a clear mod or something like that. I want a clear mod S8 Exynos and a clear mod S8 Snapdragon. Well, hopefully it works. Because if it works, then we have something that I won't sell because, as I said, I want an S8 that has a Snapdragon in it. I'm just wondering if the frame is the same as the S8s that I have. Because I remember with the i9-305s and the i 9 505 to 6 to 7 they change the internal frame ever so slightly so it makes the motherboard have extra components and chips on it and stuff like that. Like the Exynos processor may be a bit smaller than the Snapdragon or vice versa. Or, I don't know. We'll take this apart, see if it works. If it does work, fantastic. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So be it. I have another S5 here. No battery, no back cover, but it has tempered glass on it. Very uh, poorly applied because it's just over to the side. These are all G900i's because Australia has G900i. That's the Asia and Australian variant. This is an S6 Edge. Looking at this, you would go, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Smalls, you're an idiot. Why would you even get this? That's just because the sticker on the back says it's a 128 gig model, G925i. So when of course I'm gonna get it. The funny thing is though, is that when I seen this, I thought I'd hold the power button and it powered on. And I think in excitement, I just threw it in the box and uh, kind of left it. Let me just see if it's going to still uh, power on. I know we'll come back to this later, but I just want to quickly just make sure to show you all that it does work. Battery icon should display in three, two, one, zero. Doesn't matter. There it is. Right there. There we go. But yeah, it powered on. It showed the Samsung logo and I went, huh, sweet. That's something I can easily move on. 128 gig S6 Edge. Not too bad. And I've got a replacement screen. I've got a replacement back. But the back's actually not that bad on it. This actually may survive. But the actual um, screen itself, I'll probably use for my um, my own collection because my screen that I have is actually um, damaged. So that's fine. But it's got a passcode on it. We can try Mad Hacks. Why not? Let's try Mad Hacks. Zero, 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 zero. One, two, three... That's not... One, two, three, four. Done. Mad Hacks didn't work. There's another S5. Screen looks good. We shall test it. Another S5. Screen looks good-ish. It has a film on it. 
but we will test it. I have an S4. This is a GT i9 505. It has a battery in it. It also has some sort of sticker on the back cover, which I don't think I should show because it could name a company or something like that. And I, I don't know what legalities and it is, it's fine. Um, so yeah, this doesn't power on because it's dead. So I'm just gonna plug this in uh, just to see if anything pops up. The OLED looks okay, actually, but we'll see if anything pops up. It vibrated, yep. Oh, that's good. Yeet. That didn't sound exciting. I'm sorry. That's good. I have an S4 Mini. Um, I actually have an S4 Mini that has cracked glass. This does not have cracked glass. And the OLED looks okay. It's a little bit scuffed, but like, that's pretty good. It's the i9 5... No, i9-195T, which is the better 4G variant of the normal S4 Mini. I think this has a Snapdragon and 1.5 gigs of RAM. I'm not too sure, but we'll grab battery and test that. The next one is an S5. <laughs> it's a continuous flow of S5s. I don't know, all these S5s that were there just have beautiful, immaculate screens. Like, let me just sort of, you know? Wow. Pretty. Um, you can't really see it. There you go. It's a bit scratched, but hey, man. I could probably get maybe, what, 70 bucks for an S5? Got another S4 uh, that has a crack in the OLED. I just seen it. I didn't think it did. Dang it. Well, I do need motherboards, though, and this is an i9-506. Right there. That little crack right there. So let's see if this will kill an entire display. I'll just plug it in, then. Because I think the battery is dead. If the screen does work, I'll be surprised, but I don't think it will. Once you get a tiny little itty bitty tiny little crack in the uh, OLED, that's it. See you later. Bye bye. Get a massive crack in the LCD, it's like, that's fine, I'll keep continuing on. I will survive. Blue light at the top there, OLED's damaged. Oh well. I don't know how this got in there, but it did. This is a dumb phone. It's a recent dumb phone, actually. I think it has 4G, but it uses micro USB to charge. And I don't know how it ended up in... I think I thought it was a Nokia, but it's not. It's an Alcatel, I think. We can test it for no reason other than, hey, let's test it. I have, yeah, it's another S5. Yeah, I got a lot of S5s, but I need the screen, so it's fine. Uh, I got a Note 4. Uh, problematic Note 4s. I have a Note 4 that did work. I built it. I put the screen down. I'd done everything. It was all working, and then it died. So I kind of found this one. The screen looks good, but I'll grab the motherboard out. And if you're wondering from the last job lot that I had the Note 4 motherboard in, that didn't work, sadly. But this has the S Pen, no battery, no back cover, and it's the N910G. But it looks fairly clean though, so I don't know. Might be good. The next one is a Google Pixel. Google Pixel. I tried this while I was there and it vibrated and then that was it, it was dead, but it's a uh, all white one. But I have a blue one over there that I got from somewhere. I'll attempt to take the screen off that because the battery's dead on that and try with this one because I think the battery's good on this one. So we can do a bit of a swap here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it all in one night, but uh, we'll see what happens because I've got stuff to do tomorrow and it's getting later and later. I don't know why I grabbed this, but I did. Just me and S3s. I don't know why. It was there. Had a battery in it. I have a bunch of batteries. I think this is just an i9. Oh, hello, what the hell? This is an i9-301. What the hell is an i9-301? Wouldn't it be funny if it powered on, even though it's got all these cracks in it and stuff? Oh, let's get going. I reckon it's dead. Completely dead. Yeah, I do. I actually have two of them now. So, this is a Galaxy S3 Neo. It goes to Android 4.4.2, it has only 3G. It has a 720p AMOLED display, 1.5 gigs of RAM, and a Snapdragon 400. So that's not half bad. But I have a white one with a good screen, and now I have a blue one with a likely damaged screen. Let's see if it powers on. I'll put this battery in and see if it powers on. Come on. You can do it, buddy. Oh my god, the screen works. <laughs> no problemo, Samsung. Ooh, Italiano. Uh, we're gonna put it into English. Well, it seems to work, so I'll just do that. And I'll just replace the battery in that. I have so many S3s 
and now two of these S3 Neos, what am I going to do with them? I don't have a proper use for these other than to just keep them to the side and hope maybe one day I'll need them for some particular reason. I have drug dealer S6. <laughs> okay, in all seriousness, there was an S6 and the screen is, I mean, it's slightly damaged and there's no screws in it. I also think the motherboard's gone. I think the motherboard's gone. I think I just bought junk. Oh, yeah, I just, yeah, I bought junk. Uh, whoops. I got a front camera. Didn't look at this one properly. I should have looked at this one properly because I went, Ooh, that's in a Ziploc bag. Ooh, that's good. It should have stuff that I might need on it. I was wrong. I don't even know what happened to the screen. Like, just what even? It's probably a really cheapo display, like a replacement one. The earpiece is there. And as I said, the front camera, we can take that off. We got a little camera. Yeah. It was only 10 bucks. I'm not going to cry over it. But I do have a good back cover. I'll keep that. Keep those good parts to the side. Maybe I'll keep the frame too. Maybe I'll just keep the whole thing. Maybe I'll just put it all back in the... In the... See? Solved. No problem. I have another S4. Uh, it's, we're getting there. S3s and S4s today, but that's okay. And I know at this point in time you're saying s'mores. Where are, where are the collectible phones? We're getting to them, all right? Oh, that thing fell out. We'll just put that with uh, the rest of the parts. There we go. I swear this job lot's going to go for three hours, and I'm going to really, really regret having to edit all this, but that's okay. This has a tempered glass screen protector on it. The crack is in the tempered glass um, screen protector, so I'll just yeet that off. It has the charging door, which is good. No battery, no back cover. SMG900i. Is this a G3? This is not a G3. This is a G3 Mini, I think, which does not have boot looping problems. I do not know. Let us pull the back cover off and investigate this strange, mysterious phone. I actually came across a G4 while I was there today, and I refused to get it because I said, I know this is going to boot loop, so I didn't get it. There was also a Nexus 5X there today as well, and I said, you're going to boot loop, so I didn't get it because that would have been $20 wasted. Also, I need to use my pry tool to get this off because I've been stressed and, well, I have gloves on too as well. And $2450, yeah, the G3 had a 3000 Was it? 3000 Uh It is a... LG D722K. It's a G3 beat. You know, like, beat it? Just beat it. They told him, don't you ever come around here. There's an 8 gig micro SD card and then a SIM card. They've got to be destroyed and they're going to go over there. So beat it. Just beat it. Woo. I have an LG here. Why do you have this old G3 with a cracked screen? Why? Because it has dual cameras. And I don't own this. And I thought I may as well own it. Probably have a battery for it. I don't know, but I grabbed it, because why not? It has dual cameras. I think it has the 3D holographic screen, no thingamajiggy going on. Like the HTC Evo 3D did. It has an HDMI port as well, and the back cover may be easy to find. This may not even be an expensive phone at all, but I just grabbed it because I have not got one in my collection. And then lastly, we have an S5. G900i, but it has a crack in the OLED. Damn it, how did I not notice that? Oh, well, doesn't matter. We're going to now go into the territory of collectibles. Now, I use the term collectibles very loosely for these next ones. I just have them because I have them. One of such said devices is this tiny little Samsung that I think I have parts for. Is it the same? <gasps> it is the same, yes. Well, no, it's not the same. You know what? It's kind of the same. I only got this because, yeah, I, I was like, I've, I've got parts for this. I absolutely have parts for this, and I kind of do, but... See? Battery fits. Does it power on? No. Hasn't been powered on in years. Uh, yeah, this has a pin code on it, and I can't reset it, so I have that one now, and it looks cooler. It's a Duos. It has dual SIM. This little thing has dual SIM. Crazy stuff, man. Yeah, we can test that. We can try it. Gonna be a little bit hectic. With the ones that will just power on and stuff, I think we'll just leave them, but the ones that need repair, we'll do a repair. We'll make this job lot worthy, because we have an iMate. Ultimate 9502. This beast has an Internet Explorer dedicated button right there. You know that's good shit. This had a battery, and I thought, you know what? I'll grab it. There's a reason why I grabbed it too, is because I've got one out in the garage that has a case on it, like the back cover, and the um, pen. It's all out there. And this has leather on it too, because leather is important. Does it power on? It doesn't power on. Probably thinking there's something weird going on. Boom. 
sidekick. It's not a sidekick, but like it's it's pretty cool for what it is, and it's got like two buttons there, and it'd be interesting to see with you know if this powers on and how the photos look and you know what version of Windows it's running and that slide is really good by the way. Boom. Yo. Gah. The last couple of things we have in the box, I hope they work because you fellas are going to enjoy them. But no, no particular order, I'm just going to go out and pick one. I'm just going to pick one out of there like this. Aha. I got a Zopo. I seen it and went, what the fuck is a Zopo? <laughs> is it an Oppo or is it just, I don't know, it's got a cracked uh, glass on it. Um, it doesn't have an 18 by 9 aspect ratio screen. Has a front camera and an earpiece, as you would expect. But I think I've got a battery that should fit it. If not, then that's another ten dollars down the drain. But like Zopo, Zop Zopo, and there's just two like CE marks just there, just and thirty-two gig just in case you forgot. It's really interesting to see if it will be thirty-two gig or not. If it powers on, if it doesn't, we can just take it apart. Aha! This, this, my friends, is an incredible find. It's big. It's a chunk. It's a multi-codec jukebox by iRiver. It has the hold function, like so. It also has the headphone jack. It has this weirdo one there. It has line in, line out. It has a microphone on the side there, which is, like, pretty cool. And at the bottom, it's got, like, a, a USB host and then a micro USB to plug into your computer and it takes a 5 volt charger to get it all working and stuff but this is big I seen it and I was like what the hell is this and I picked it up and I was like Whew. if you hit someone over the head with this it's gonna hurt I have this iPod here from I don't know how many years ago it's a 20 gig one and I don't have a charger for it unfortunately um, but like size wise they're, they're pretty close pretty close this has a color screen on it this one's better this is still cool though but, uh, yeah, we'll have to see if this does work, and um, I should Google the uh, model number, actually. Let's Google that. It's an H340. Bet if I type in H340, it's going to come up with a whole bunch of other things apart from this. Yeah, Logitech. H340 iRiver. When did this come out? This has a 40 gig hard drive in it. Its weight is about 203 grams. That's a bit ridiculous, but, you know, obviously it's uh, it's pretty beefy. When did it come out? 2005. You know what? A chunky MP3 player that we could maybe load a movie on or something, or maybe load one of my YouTube videos on, and we can sit here and watch it, because I think it. I think this has speakers. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But I got it, because why not? Dolce and Gabbana, Fendi and Nadana. I think that's how the lyrics go. I don't know. Ah, uh, this is Dolce and Gabbana V3. I don't have one of these, so I got one. It looks good. Looks good. Needs a bit of a cleanup. But it looks good. It has a 64 megabyte micro SD card in there and an old Telstra SIM. That's amazing. Yeah, Dolce & Gabbana, which means it's expensive. That's what it means, yeah? Expensive. I hope it does. But yeah, it's a, um, an original V3, I think. V3i. Oh, is it gold-plated? I think they cheaped out and gold-plated it, I think. But it does have a crack on the front there, but I do have donor V3 glass panel display thingo jiggy thingies, and we can pull that off and put that on there. The problem is I don't have a gold back, but I could get a silver one and paint it gold, and it'll be exactly the same and you won't even notice. We might do that. Ha! This. Let me show you something, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show you something. The Galaxy Z Flip unflips like this. You see see this see this here? Right? Watch, 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 watch. Look at that. So, you, you know, and then whoop! Makes sense. Look at this Nokia. Whoa. Oh, kind of the same thing. Not really. It's just that's not there's actually no comparison really. It's just that the fact that this just sort of sticks up. But look at the inside of it. <laughs> it's so bizarre. But I have one out in the garage and I have bought it inside with me because my screen is dead on my one and it's red. The screen is dead on my red one and it's sitting on my bed and I called it Fred or Ted. I seen this and I went, well, if the screen works, I could potentially change the silver casing and stuff and put it in that one. But I wouldn't know how to take this thing apart because there's no screws or anything like that. So we'd have to probably Google and see how that uh, comes apart. It's Nokia 2650. Can't even read it. 2550. 2650. RH53. But the inside is extremely yellowed. 
Even though it doesn't look like it, the uh, inside is yellowed. But yeah, the uh, the hinge is really interesting. Like, wee. Innovative Nokia. Gotta love them. Oh, I thought this was another Dolce & Gabbana one. It could be. I just don't know. But this is a V9. And uh, it's missing the port. It's missing the back cover. But it's got, like, crocodile leather on the back here. And... It's fancy, man. Look at that. Look at that shit. I was like, huh. I'm not going to pass down a gold V9. Was it a V9? It's a V9, isn't it? V8. It's a V8. It's a V8. My bad, it's a V8. Um, that's a V8. Vroom. Uh, pff, no idea. Got it because why not? It also has a blotch in the uh, front screen there, but I think I've got replacements out in the garage. Uh, don't know if I'll repair it today. I just want to see if it works and sort of look up and see which one this is. It was made in the UK as well. That's pretty interesting. want to see what model this is, if it's a special collab or if it's just a, hey, Motorola made a fancy phone and put some cheapo materials on it to make it look fancy. Probably something like that. Who knows? The next one. I've mentioned this phone a couple of times and I've said, I have this phone in my garage, boxed, and I need to unlock it somehow because it comes up with an error code. I have not been able to find parts for it or anything like that. And what do I find at eWaste today? Parts. This is missing the speaker grill. It's got a crack in the uh, plastic. It's missing all bits of plastic and stuff, but I just want the board. Well, all I want is the motherboard because I want to grab this board out, put it in that one, and hopefully it works because I really want a Nokia 3310 in QWERTY form because it's the most ridiculous thing you'll ever see. I think it takes a memory card if I'm not mistaken somewhere. I don't think it does actually. I'll take that back. Has a uh, 2.5mm headphone jack. I think it has 64 meg internal storage. So we might put some music on there. Put BFG Division on this. <laughs> That'd be awesome. This next one is also one of my favourite Nokia phones of all time because not only was it the first Nokia phone with a camera It was also the first Nokia to come out with the Symbian S60 OS and that my friends is the Nokia 7650 This was a behemoth in 2002 I think it has these weird circle things at the top because I think that's a light sensor or that could be the light sensor I don't know but the front is very 2000s, but it has the back case the back cover. It's got the orange brand on it It's not in bad shape it has seen better days but like slidey boy look at that how can you not say no to that how can you just go oh yeah that's fine look the camera hides too pretty cool and it has a joystick nub that's a clicker it will be interesting to see if it does work because, yeah, I pulled my one out of my garage and my one is not in the best condition. So if this one does work, I have a replacement. So I thought this was a pretty good find and, you know, it's always good to have old Nokias and stuff since I like to collect such old Nokias. And this does have a battery in it too because there was a box of phones that did have batteries in them. This was in that box. The other three boxes only had phones without batteries. But no, this has the battery and everything like that. There's also a weird thing with this too. The SIM card slot. I'm going to show you where the SIM card slot is. Up the top there for no particular reason other than Nokia. <laughs> Innovation, man. Innovation. They were like, no, the phone body is this, not this. So we will test this and see if it works. It's got a bit of a nick there. Maybe I can combine the two and make a good working one. Hey. We'll see. All right, so just a, uh, you know, I'm not going to pronounce the name because uh, it's probably not worth it. I don't want to get joked upon. No battery, no back cover. You should know what this phone does by now. I mean, if you are kind of looking at this going, it's looking a bit sus there, you know, it's, something's wrong with it. It's because this goes wabang. QWERTY keyboard on a portrait display. That's very smart. <laughs> So you can sit there with your cross-shaped phone being like, yeah, no worries, mate. I can type a QWERTY or just be like, stick to T9, thanks. Like most people were using T9 back then. And then our friends at Simons uh, came out with this, the SK65 in Germany. This is made in Germany. And they went, ha, innovation. Take that. 
I don't have a battery for this, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to look to see if I can find a battery for it, but I don't think I will be able to. I may have one out in the garage that may fit it, but I still don't have a back cover. But I will investigate. Alright, are we getting into territory now? This. This thing. What? What is this thing? What is this thing, Smalls? I, pff, I don't know, man. You tell me. It's obviously based off the uh, iPhone with its home button there. But on the back, it says 3D sound and 2 meg... Oh, the, hang on, the speakers are there. I don't know. The SD card slot's a bit damaged, but it looks like it might take a Nokia battery. Probably. Maybe. This is an iPhone. Like, look, look, look at the way iPhone's spelt, if you can see it. iPhone. Model number P1630. Tri-band digital mobile phone. From Top Crown Technology. Good job, Top Crown. You made a great phone. We'll have to see if it works. This thing. You think it's a Note 3. You're wrong. It is not a Note 3. It has a lot of circles at the top for no particular reason. No, this just made me laugh because it's called an M-Horse. <laughs> M-Horse. Yes, my phone is an M-Horse. Do you have a problem with that? Why does it have Core 2? Not only is it M horse, but it has a core two in it. Quad, duo, solo, extreme could be cool, but I've never heard of M horse. Unless I have, and I just subconsciously never really thought about it. But uh, we can try this too, see if it works. I think there's a screen protector on it, or someone just treated it really badly, and the fact it came from e waste. Because we have an S five, but not just any S five. No, 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 no. This is not a regular S five. This is a fake one. The G906V, and the reason why it's fake is, A, look at the Samsung, B, it also creaks, C, the uh, charger port looks like crap, and um, it has the cheapo sticker on it, which doesn't mean much, but uh, it's fake. But I have a fake one, and um, I cracked the screen on it, and I don't remember how I did it, but I did it, so we now have this one to test. Might work. Might not work. Because with that mentality, I have another one. This has a tempered glass screen protector on it as well. Probably UV applied, which, uh, that's my worst enemy. And, uh, look at Samsung. Uh, this is a G900, but it looks legit. You know, it does actually look kind of legit. Until you look at the sensors and see that's just a sticker placed in there, and they've put these stickers on there, and some of the screws are missing, and it will be interesting to see if this does work alongside the uh, other S5s, but um, there it is there. 2014. Was that long ago? Oh. I have an N7102. This is a Note 2 clone. Don't know why I picked it up. It has the S Pen. Let's have a look at the S Pen. Is it an actual pen, or is it just, uh, it's just one of those blobby styluses? That's cool. Um, no particular reason why I got this other than it was there and I thought it'd be funny having a look at it. If it doesn't work, we can tear it down. That's the main thing. This one is an H-Mobile V7. I've never heard... Actually, no, I have heard of H-Mobile, but I don't think I've... No, it doesn't, doesn't ring a bell. Maybe I looked at it somewhere along the line. I can't remember. But uh, here it is, and it looks like a Samsung-looking thing. Probably has a screen protector on it. It does. We'll have to remove that to see its beautiness. It has front flash, too. Yeah, it'd be uh, interesting to see what this does. Made in 2012. Oh, I have no hope for it now. Oh, sorry. I have I have a couple more real ones, like not Faco cheapo devices, like this here. This is a V9, I believe. Yeah, that's a V9. That's got the cover. I'd be able to pinch the cover off this. But this one's a gold one. Kind of. Not really. It's not really gold. It's more bronze, but I don't know. The colors just look good, so that's why I got it. I have a Sony Ericsson here with a flippy downy thing. I got one the last time I was there, and now I have another one. Except this one's slightly more advanced, and I have a back cover, and I have a battery for it. So we can try that out. Also, the camera lens. I remember these. You could do that it was cool. Wee. Camera lens open, camera lens closed. See? 2 megapixel, autofocus. Good stuff, Sony Ericsson. I wonder what Sony phones are doing nowadays. Actually, they've gotten better since I uh, had a go at them on the uh, Z series, but that's okay. I have an Alcatel here. My first phone was an Alcatel One Touch 332, and um, a family friend of mine had this exact phone, and I used to play a certain game on it. The problem is, though, is that I have that phone, but it has a pin lock on it. Now, the phone I have, it's one that I got at the market or something like that, and it has a pin lock, and there was a little hack you could do to get into it, and I was able to do that ages ago, but I never wrote down the code. So when I seen this, I thought, 
But you know what? I'll grab it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it works, fantastic. It's also got a battery in it. But I'll tell batteries, especially in old generations like this, uh, probably unlikely to work. Hey, you never know. It also has a camera, which is pure shit on it. That's the end of the actual real ones. So the last ones now are, are fake ones, okay? Oh, except for this one. This is a... Hmm. I feel like saying Tekken, but it's not correct. That's Shun. So that's... Is that Tation? T-N-K? Like, Ty? Tyation? T-Kexen? Fuck do I know. It's something. But this is a chonky thing. Look, it's an M2. Dual SIM. Micro SD. But just the fucking flip size of it, man. It's just a huge beast. Massive. It's a touchscreen too, by the way. For no reason other than it's a touchscreen. It's got big ass buttons. I don't know. I've just seen it. It's pretty heavy too. Like, it's really heavy. Um, so we'll have to see if I've got a battery for it. And it's got a big speaker on the back. You know, a big speaker means BFG division. Uh, I got this one. It's a China Mobile something, but I don't know what it is. Because it doesn't tell me any information that I need to know on it. There's no IMEI info or anything. It has a pen. It has a scroll wheel as well. But that's it. There's nothing else going on here. Is this a micro SD card slot cover door thing? Ooh, is that going to break off? Ooh, that's probably going to break off. Probably not going to do that. Is that there for decoration? That is there for... Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. Oh, there's the antenna. Whee! Well, that's as far as it goes. Huh. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, so, interesting to see what this is, because this could be anything. I don't know what particularly it is. There's a micro SD card, it just goes in there. Uh, grabbed it because I grabbed it. Alright, in all fairness, the iPhone clone month was ambitious, difficult, and I didn't finish it. And I apologize for that. But, I'm going to make it up to you all, because I got four new iPhone clones, because I felt bad that I left it on such a bad note. You know, there was a couple of Siphones in there, but they were already ones that I had, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to leave them, I'm just going to leave them to the side, I'm not going to touch them, but these ones I don't have, or I possibly have, but I don't know if I actually have them or not. It's very difficult. But the first one here is the Airphone number four, and I believe Ashen's reviewed this one. Which way does it go? It goes that way. Uh, I believe Ashen's reviewed this, so that'd be cool to have because, well, it's an air phone and it charges with the actual Apple 30-pin proprietary connector, so that's pretty cool. The next one here is a V812 with a pretty bent out of shape micro SD slot card holder thing. The battery looks very strange, like it's just the prongs are there, um, but this one is a bit chonky, bit of a chonky iPhone 4 clone. Uh, that's a button also there too, and uh, there's a headphone jack, <laughs> the micro USBs at the top. I wonder if we can, can we run it off micro USB? I wonder if we can. Wouldn't that be interesting if we could run it off micro USB and not have to find a battery for it? I wonder if that will happen. That probably won't happen. How does one turn this on? Actually, there's a button right next to it. Huh. We can fire batteries, it's fine. Uh, the next one is an F8. I think I actually have this one. I believe I do. Uh, but it's just basically a Sci phone in an iPhone 4 look case. The mute switch is not a mute switch, it's just a button. And it takes a BL5B battery, I believe. Be interesting to see if it works. And then this one here is a uh, iPhone 3G clone, but the name of it is an i5 TV. And it takes a BL5B battery, I think. It's got Java on it and Bluetooth. You got some. Good quality stuff in there. I mean, 10 bucks each. And the fact is, when am I ever going to see these again? With everything that's just really reopened back in Australia again, I don't think I'll be seeing clones out in the wild for a, a while now, but at E-Waste, hey, they're, they're everywhere, man. Put it on a positive note. All of these phones were destined to be crushed. All of these phones, all 2,000 of them that I looked at today, were all going to be destined to be crushed down and scrapped because that's what e-waste does. They get the stuff, crush it down, recycle it, make it into something else. That's how stuff works. And I go, no, no, don't do that. Don't, no, save the phones, please. And um, yeah, I come along and say, yeah, save the phones. And well, that's what I did. The next four is the last and final four, and we haven't even got to actually repairing yet. So that's really fun. Now remember, these were going to be crushed, and I saved them, 
He's very lucky to have survived, because who knows where I would have got another E-71 from. It's not just a normal E-71. It's a fake one. Made in Finland. Why is it fake? How do you know it's fake? Because look at the sim and then Act 6 printed on there. Just, no. The E-71 was a little bit better quality than uh, this thing here. And I believe the uh, the original back for the E-71 will actually just go right on there. We may have to try it though, but it uses the same battery and everything like that. Could be a one-to-one -one clone. No, it's not. We can test this out. Buttons are like rocks. They're like little pebbles stuck down. That side feels good, that side feels like shit. There's a speaker at the top, and a speaker at the bottom, was it? No. Oh no, they have the little clippy things, like the real one does, but they probably don't work because there's no clippy things. Oh, there, no, there's clippy things. Here we go. Last three. Has it been 59? I don't know. Probably. It's an N97 clone. Now, the plastic is damaged, but there's nothing that s'mores can't unscrew and pop into place and use some super glue and go. Problem solved. This is an N97, it's got the Carl Zeiss lens there, Carl Zeiss, Carl Zeiss, Carl Zeiss, doesn't matter, Zeiss, uh, like so, it looks like the N86 clone that I had a look at, it's got bah, number one on there, for no particular reason other than say bah, number one, the screen is incredibly small for the N97, and then, uh, that's pretty sort of responsive, and then it has 32 gig AF 5 megapixel car, Carl, hang on, is that a, is that an H? No, Carl Zeiss, NHD 3.5 inch, it's exactly off the real deal, N97, but uh, it's kind of not the real deal because it has BAH 91 in there. But it'd be interesting to see if it does work because I like the N97 and I've got one actually uh, in my phone drawer at the moment. I actually bought a suitcase recently to put some of my uh, collectible phones in. So that's kind of cool, just thought I'd let you all know. And then finally, the last two are the amazing absolutely amazing never seen by the public never ever seen by anyone before the very very undeniably rare n98 and the n98i i seen both of these and just went i really hope these work i really really hope they do this has a cracked touch screen i think or it's just scratched maybe it's just scratched but it's got bluetooth and tv and it's the n98i this is actually made out of metal like, this whole thing is made out of metal. It's super weird. It has gold contacts there. The inside just says N98i. Bit of a speaker grill missing there, but that's okay. Bit of a hole there as well. Uh, the SIM card slot's just bare exposed motherboard just there as well. We have that weirdo connector just there. The stylus is missing, and the antenna has been cut off. Then the other one has two megapixels, something written in Chinese there that I'm not too sure of, and then it says Nokia model N98 Plus by... What is the... Ooh, what are, what are the gold, what are, red, red, that's what it says there, red, and it's basically the same layout, no it's not the same layout, but I think it uses the same, oh hang on, that's a weird battery connection there, hold up, how does, oh that's a weird one, that's a weird battery connection, how would one find a battery for that? I'm pretty sure we can find a battery for this someday. Um, I don't know. Let's try them. First one. I think this battery's charged. Why does it have three gold contacts at the bottom there for no particular reason? Um, this battery's probably not charged, actually. Uh, if I sound like absolute dog shit, it's because I'm extremely tired. I've been up for like 14 hours now, and I have hay fever really badly. It's uh, Australian weather at the moment, it's really playing up with me. But that's never stopped me. Well, maybe it has, but I try my hardest. As I said to you all, I'm not gonna go into full testing mode with these phones because I want these to be review devices. I just wanna see them boot up and then put to the side like I've done with some of the other ones in the job lots. So this battery here is charged. So if I just go pop a roo in there, barely fits in there. I believe it's this button we hold. It should go hello no maybe it's this one it's gonna be one of them it's four buttons on here one of them's got to do the job maybe it's the left one why would it be the left one maybe it's the gold contacts do these click aha these click maybe these are volume buttons that would make sense actually if they're volume buttons maybe there's a button on top somewhere that i'm missing let me just try this uh battery in another one just to make sure it does actually work oh it feels swollen that's probably why never mind I gotta charge a battery up. My bad, sorry. While that charges, I have to think of what battery can fit in here. We will leave them to the side, okay? Because now, 
we'll come to this Nokia N97 and put that in there like that and then find the on button. Where's the on button? There's the on button there. If not, I have an actual N97 that's charged though. Oh, the screen's damaged. Oh. I wonder if I can pull the one off the N86 and put in here. That would be interesting. Ah, oh. well, like, I've got the actual hardware, so that's kind of interesting. I wonder if we can pull the screen off it. We'll come back to that, all right? We'll come back to that. Then we have this one here, which is the N. E, E72, e, whatever, it, what was it? E72. Okay, power on, buddy. You can do it. Oh. It's a welcome phone. Oh, look. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, where's the Symbian button? Oh, that's right. They don't have the Symbian button on this one. Office tool. Yes, you are an office tool. Organizer, user profile. Where's game? There it is. Game. Jet. Start game. I'm dead. Great. That works. Good stuff. I'll put that in the pile of, uh, that's sad. That's very, very sad. Because <laughs> I'm filming fairly late at night, I'm going to have to write down a list of what I need to grab. Uh, so this Alcatel, I need a charger for. So I might put that down in the, I need a charger and I need to get a charger for you. Um, let's try the iMate, actually. Does the iMate work? Lights. Camera. Nothing. Most likely it's, like, completely dead. Uh, let's rip the battery out of it, actually, while the charge is plugged in. How does one remove battery? Get out. Whoa. There we go. I'll just put that back in. And I guess we'll just leave it to the side and hopefully it kicks in while I've got other stuff charging. Let's get the S5s out of the way, okay? Because I've got this S5 battery here, and it should be charged, I think. Fake S5. Boo. Ah. Hocus pocus. Don't worry, I have my thing here called a charger, and we can see if anything does display on our fake S5. God damn, the charger barely even just holds. Oh, hello, how you doing? That turned off very quickly. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, bye bye. Maybe the charger port? No, because this battery is charged. Maybe we can just come back to that another day. So let's just put that in the it doesn't work S5. The other one. Let's try this one. This is the other fake S5. We'll just power it on, see what happens. Come on, life. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that Oreo. Ice cream sandwich. That's what I meant. Is it an ice cream sandwich? Or is it just an Android with a circle around him? That doesn't really matter, to be honest. It's starting up. Oh, look at that. Wow. This looks super legit. Hey, that's kind of smooth. I say that. About phone. Go on. 4.4.2. Yep. I mean, it was. The S5 did come with 4.4.2, so... Yeah, okay. That's reasonable. <laughs> There's just little LEDs under there. You can see it. Uh, the battery. How much is the battery at? 40%. So then why didn't that one turn on? That doesn't make sense. Does this have a Google account logged into it? it does have a Google account logged into it. Who the hell would have used this? Let's see if this has got the actual Samsung test code built in. I know some fakes do this. It does. Wi-Fi, phone, radio, SIM, Bluetooth, headphone, zzz. Touch. Let's try touch. Ah, oh, okay. You know, it's a uh, success. It's good. Um, well, that works. The main question is, does an S5 back fit on it? I don't think it will. The fuck are you doing? The fuck was it doing? Why was it woofing at me? The back cover barely fits because the battery's too big. Oh no, it kind of fits. Oh no, it doesn't. Yeah, no, it doesn't really fit. That's okay. If I was going to review it, I'll just have the back cover off anyways. But it's good to know that it fits and works. Yeah, look out for that because I like collecting clone phones. D don't judge me. This S5, do you do anything? Oh, hang on. No? Yeah? 
Oh, no. Bert, you can do it. I believe in you. Sometimes you just need to give him a jump start. No. The screen could be good, though, so I could rip it off. Oh, Lord, help me ripping off an S5 screen. It'll take forever. Oh, did I have the battery around the wrong way? That could have helped. That may have helped, actually. No. Nothing. Okay, you go in the pile of... Well, you don't work, but you're real, and you're gonna go with the fake ones. It's okay. It's okay. I got it. Try this one. This one has no glass protector on it. And that's got an OLED crack. I can see the OLED crack in there. So, so yeah. Uh, what about this one? Come on. Yes. Nice. Oh, yeah. Looks like no OLED burning either. Has the charger port as well. I'm just going to just hide it quickly in case it has personal information, you know, displayed on the front of it, like uh, emergency lost or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah, it's got someone's data on it. I will just make sure it seems to work. It has Pokemon Go on it. It is running 6.0.1 and it all seems to work. You go in the working pile. Put all the S5s in one pile, it's fine. Another one here. Let's try this one. This one has no tempered glass, so we'll try this one. Come on. Yes. Nice. And the S5s, they're not expensive phones anymore, but they're still reasonable for what they are. That's for sure. Another Telstra one. Interesting. I will, once again, hide this off screen just in case, because there could be personal data on it, and I don't want to show any personal information if there's a face on there or something like that. Oh, no, there's not. There's not. There's not. It's fine. We're all good. Also, the battery was at 29%. Now it's at 29 Oh, that's loud. Okay. Well, at least the speaker works. About device. Probably 6.0.1? No, 5. Okay, interesting. Well, that's in the uh, working pile which the working pile is now also mixed with the uh, doesn't work pile, but that's fine. Uh, this one's got a SIM card in it, and well, it looks pretty grungy, but no, we'll see if it works. Okay, Telstra as well. I think a lot of the S5s here were Telstra, if I'm not mistaken. No, there was Vodafone. I remember having one on Vodafone. But this one's Telstra, so it doesn't matter. We'll hide it again just in case because you just never know. It could be data information and stuff. I wouldn't like my ugly mug on a phone shirt on camera. And unfortunately, there is people's data on there. Candy Crush is on here. Wow, great game. 10 out of 10 IGN. Or 9 out of 10 IGN. Whatever the meme is. About device. Uh, this one is G900i S5. So that means that's the third one working. At the moment, that's actually not too bad. Can we get a fourth one? No. You have the charger port. Come on. Maybe it's motherboard. It could be the motherboard itself. It could be just spontaneous motherboard combustion. That could be the, uh, the answer for all of these. When you switch these on as well, you usually get the uh, little indicator light flash up a couple of times and it usually vibrates as well which this one is not doing sadly so that's another one where we can take the screen off and try and transplant it into another one and see what happens there's also water damage so um take that into consideration another one here let's try this one can we go for four come on go for four. Ah, oh, no yeah see the light at the top so the OLEDs may be okay on them, but yeah, this one flickers. Dang it. Last one. Come on, give me give me four. I mean, this one's got no hope because it's cracked. But hey, come on, prove me wrong. No worries. <laughs> no problemo. Look how big the icons are. Ugh. This one's a Vodafone one. See, I told you. G900i, Android 6.0.1. Good stuff. That means we have four S5s working. That's actually pretty good. That's actually kind of better than I expected. All in all, uh, we got one fake one working, and four that do work, and then two that are unknown. So we will have to come back to them. Well, look, I gotta say, that's pretty good then. I'll put that S5 battery down with the rest of them. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. So, yeah, this Note 4 here. I built this. I glued it all back down. Actually, let me just not eat my words and see if it boots up because if it does I'm going to be pissed off but I'm pretty sure it's the EMMC that's completely dead on it. Yeah, told you. Okay, so this can go in my parts pile because potentially, potentially we could, we're going to swing that into there, into this one and see if you power on. Nope. 
That's the thing with the Note 4s. They may work, they may not work, they likely don't work. The motherboard failure is just so terrible. It's like the G4s. These were good phones and now they're just shit bags because this is what happens. I would say this is dead, unfortunately, because it doesn't vibrate, it doesn't do anything. This battery is charged because it was charged and I could try another battery, but I don't think that's going to work. I just made a fool of myself. I just tried the S5 battery in it and it works. Sure, s'mores. Sure, why not? Just make a fool of yourself on the internet. Because you know, that's what you do. Okay, go on. Prove me wrong. <sighs> Let me do this. I'm not make an idiot of myself. Maybe the battery just needs to be charged. Maybe that's all it is. Why does this one say that it works? It just powered up with an S5 battery, but now it says it doesn't want to power. Why even you do, man? What the hell? Come on. Show me a sign. Show me life. Anything? No. Samsung batteries usually, you know, come up in Samsung phones very quickly. That's just what happens. But let me just try this one. No. So let me just try the charging port, because I know the charging port works on this one. Go on. Do something. Well, at least the display displayed on this display for a bit of a display. So that means the display is good on that display, uh, which is good. Why is nothing else working? It did show just before. Maybe you got to slide the battery in super careful. And then you got to plug it in. Treated like a newborn baby. I thought it would work. <sighs> Note 4s, man. Note 4s. Good phones. When they came out. I tried. Note 4s. I tried. But you don't want to work. I'll try the batteries later. No, because the S5 battery worked in it. And the Note 4... It's okay. Let's plug in our wonderful... Nokia 7650 mobile device. Boop. Go on. Do something. I do have batteries that are currently working for this kind of over to the side. So if I need to use them, I can. But is this phone working? Do you work? Work. Come on. It's a bit warm, actually. But no, nothing. Clicky buttons. I might try it on the uh, universal charger. So, let me just put that down to the side. Let's leave the 7650 to charge. And I'll take the BL5C off charge. And we can put it in this one. And we can see now if this one works. Oh. Ow. SOS. Oh, yeah. That's just the usual one. Magic Sushi's on here. Mahjong, whew. well, holy dooly, uh, back, at least you can use that, we can probably use the Apple Pencil actually, when in doubt and you have a resistive touch screen, just use the Apple Pen, see, problem solved, Wee. okay, well, uh, the N98i works, you can now go to the side, so, in that case, let's try something, okay, I know this is probably not going to work, but I'm just going to hold the BL5C like that, like so, hang on. Got to line up the contacts, like so, and I'm just gonna power it on. This would be hilarious if it worked. Nah, unfortunately, nothing. So I'll try and find a battery for this. Don't know where I'm gonna get one from, but if I can put one there, because the BL5C doesn't fit per se, like I have to put it like this, but the plus has to be on that side. So I wonder if I took the casing off, if it would work, or if I should just get another battery and just try that, maybe. That'd probably work a little bit better, I think. But it's a matter of finding a battery. Um, that's okay. We can put that to the side. I'll put these in a pile so that I know. Let's try this with a BL5C. Go on. Do magic. Oh. Thought it might have worked. Am I even using the right BL5C? I might have confused them, I think. I swear I just seen some sparks. Maybe it takes a while? No. 
maybe one of my Psy phones, maybe, like, could fit in here. So we'll have to come back to that. We need a battery. Sorry. What about this China Mobile one here? Now, obviously, I don't have a, uh, a battery that's going to sort of kind of fit in here. So we'll just put the BL5C like so and hope it turns on uh, with this button here. No. No. Maybe I'm not pushing the on button. Oh, no, that's definitely the on button. Um, okay. Uh, oh, I know what we can use. Sony Ericsson to the rescue. See? Sony Ericsson batteries fit in everything. Okay, maybe they don't. This away? Maybe? I have a couple of Sony Ericsson batteries here that may fit. I mean, like, it's a stretch, but you never know. Like, it could work. I may have to charge one up. Let's quickly charge one up, quickly. Alright, now I have a heap of batteries everywhere. I'll just put them to the side with the rest of the batteries. One of them will work. So the Nokia is not switching on. Probably means the battery, most likely. So let's grab out our BLB2 friend here. I'm pretty sure it's the same battery I have here. Yeah, same thing. Close enough, there we go. Now, do we power it on? Come on. Yeah, we go. Insert SIM card, most likely. Because we don't have a SIM in it. I will get a SIM for it. That's okay, Nokia. I got you covered. There you go. There's a friend. I could get a smiley face on there. Ah, <laughs> oh, gotta love him. Insert SIM card. I did, Nokia. I did. See, my other one that I have is like so. The screen looks... I don't know. It's hard to tell. They're both equally as bad as one another, actually. I think this case comes off easy. Or the slider mechanism is really loose. I think this... Yeah, the slider mechanism is... Oh, no. No, they're about the same, actually. The Nokia branding is stuffed on both of them. The camera's a bit wrecked on mine. The joystick's worse on mine. The buttons are better on this one. I don't know. I think this one's probably better. Looks like it, anyways. Let me just power it on. See what happens. I don't know. I just like the aesthetic of them. They're just really, really nice. Come on. Let's see if we can... Oh, there we go. Time. Uh, it's like half past. I have no idea. 9.40... 7 p.m. Oh dear, it's like the 23rd of the 3rd of... It's fine. 2020. Oh, fuck. Uh, no. 23... 2020. There we go. Wow. Well, I'm sorry. Do you need a little bit more charge? Maybe that's its problem. Let us try the banana phone. I don't know if they called this one the banana phone or not, but we're going to just try it. It's going to need a SIM card, obviously, but I just want to see if the screen works. Yee. It does. Nice. Okay, cool. So, the fuck does the SIM go? Oh, there. The first phone that ever had a SIM tray door. Fun fact. That's not a real fact. But you can believe it if you want to. Has a little door for your SIM card. You just slot your bad boy in there and whoa bang. So I'll just grab a Vodafone SIM. I'll show you my one that I have. The problem is, how does one fit this in here? Oh boy. It goes like this. No? Does it not? Oh it does. Oh, hello. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Okay, sweet. Uh was it this battery? Probably not. Whoa, nice. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's the saddest polyphonic ringtone ever. Um, okay. Gotta get a close up here and go into menu. Oh, the buttons don't work. Oh, no, they do. Just gotta give it a bit of extra muscle. What am I looking for? Games. Applications is what I meant. Set time and date first. It's that and it's that, it's that, it's that, and it's that. Okay. Water Rapids, Backgammon, and Beach Rally. Okay. Maybe you just gotta press them a bunch of times and they start working. Yeah. Okay. You know what? That's actually come good now. Fair. 
and then yeah, it just closes like so. Now for you see my one, my only one that I have in my collection. While it does have its back cover, my one does a little something like this. Sad face. So we will have to see if we can transplant the board that's in here and the red sort of outer shell. Or just to get the screen really, we just want the screen. That's all we want. But that's something we can do, absolutely. I mean, am I gonna do it now? Probably not, but at least I know that one of them works, which is good. Let's take this Sony Ericsson battery off charge. Now I'll put it like so. All right, and we try this one. No, unfortunately this one I'm gonna have to find a battery for as well. Sony Ericsson one didn't wanna work. I'll come back to it another day. Let's try these iPhones, actually. Let's start off with this one. Let's just put the BL5, whatever the hell battery it is, in there like so, and just hold the home button and hope it powers on. That's not the right button, it's the home button. This one. No. Is it even the right battery? Probably not. I just hate how this one's upside down and back to front and stuff. I'm pretty sure one of my Siphone ones should fit this properly, because yeah, that's not powering on. This one should take a Sony Ericsson one, actually. I'm hoping so anyways. Let me try. All right, let's try this one with a Sony Ericsson battery in there. No. Maybe home powers it on. Maybe this battery is dead. Or maybe I installed it the wrong way. Could be a combination of all three. That's a first. The best choice. But it's exactly the same that we've seen before. It has Wi-Fi though. It has a bunch of apps on here. Come on, off you go. Here we go. Thought I had Doom on there for a second. A bit of excitement there. Um, so yeah, Sony Ericsson battery does work. Shall, shall we do that again? Realistic sound effects. A1. The Sony Ericsson battery is actually a great alternative, a universal alternative. It is only 950 milliamp hours, but then they made a bigger one, and it's exactly the same. So, um, yeah, if you get a phone that's like this, just grab a Sony Ericsson BST41 or a BST33 and just poke them in there and you should be good to go. Well, majority of the time anyways. Uh, let's try this one here and power this one on with the BL5B. Oop. Ah, uh, pre-welcome era, when welcome was welcome, and not a thing we joke about. Ah, uh, those were the days. Screen's kind of responsive. Video camera. No sim is available. I'm sorry, boy. Oh, look, we can search for... Weckle. It works. That's all I need to know. The last one here is the i5 TV, which I imagine is going to be exactly the same as the previous one, except it's in an iPhone 3G shell, or 3GS shell. Get in there, you stupid pillowcase. This has a SIM card in it too, but uh, so, oh, there we go, it's a welcome, oh, of course it's a welcome, same jingle, same everything, what, it's got Wi-Fi though, they've got Wi-Fi, which is good, restore, yeah, okay, we'll just restore the operating system, no worries, well, oh, that home button doesn't even work, we don't need the home button, I may have to pull it apart and fix that home button, but at least I know that works. Four iPhones that possibly work. Oh, I just realized one of the connectors in the iPhone 4 is a little bit iffy. That's probably why it wasn't working. Oh, that's okay. I'll come back to it another day. Okay, let me try these S4s out. So we know that this one doesn't work. Cracked OLED, unfortunately. Let's see if this works. Good stuff. Let it boot up. Do its thing. Okay, it may take a while to boot up. No, there we go. It's all cool. It's all good. Sound works. Very quiet. Just make sure there's no personal info. Oh, it's already dying. It's been factory reset, so that's good. Good stuff. All right, well, that's one. What the hell is that? It was in one of the S4s. It's like putty or something. That's wonderful. Oh, yes, nice. Well, it appeared for a split second, so I'd say that that would be good. So two S4s working. Not too bad. I'm going to plug this LG into power and see if this 
does anything. Hello, that was very quick. Uh, I'm also going to plug in that honor as well, like so. So then we have two devices powering up, three devices powering up. I'm going to put that iMate battery into my battery doohickey thing, and we're going to see if I can somehow get this working. Am I supposed to use that to unlock it? I can just pry it up like this. No harm done. Like so. Okay, how is the plus and minus? So, plus is... Th oh, no. No, 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 no. Just trying that I made again. And, uh, nah. Doesn't seem like it wants to. Also, this is at 17%, which means another Huawei that's got a stuffed battery, I would say. Most likely. Let's see the LG. 2%. Good stuff. Let's try the Nokia. Nokia. Doesn't matter. Kia. Okay, so is it charging or is it not charging? Uh, English, Australia. No SIM card. I agree. No problemo. This is going to have a password on it, I think. Agree. Agree to both of them. Oh, I can skip it. Okay. More, more. I agree. Set up as new. PRA LA1. Skip. Well, this doesn't have a Huawei lock on it or anything, so that's good. But I think the battery is completely stuffed on it. Which is not fun, because it had to, that it was dying, and now it's not dying, and... I still have that P9 from another job lot. Never got that fixed. Bought another battery. Nothing. But at least this works. And it has Google. So that's good. But what is this even running? Android 8. Well, okay. Kyron 665, 3 gigs of RAM, 16 gig storage, 1080p LCD. Not bad. If I now take out the battery, is it going to just go, no, nah, sorry. Oh, well, yeah. Kind of. Well, I can leave that charge. That's fine. I'll just leave it to the side. It's got a burn mark in the center of it. Look at this. Just there. Don't know if that's anything significant, but that would be right about where the battery would be. If it catches on fire, it's not my fault. The LG has a pin lock on it. Uh, zero, 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 zero. Okay. One, 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 one. One, two, three. Four, five, 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 zero, 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 zero. Fuck. Okay, I'm going to have to reset. Well, I'll leave that to the side. We'll reset it. Nokia is powered on, so I'll just set everything as it is. And we'll go into here and oh, look at this. Such retro. Games, Snake X, and Mix Picks, Extras. Wow. It's not, not a lot on here, but like Bluetooth, Infrared, Modem, Camera. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. This appears to work. Yep, all the buttons work. They do. Just needs a bit of a cleanup, I think, and it should be good to go. So, you get a pass. Good job. Should we try the M Horse? M horse. Oh, actually, it's got four on it. That means we'll probably use a Samsung to power up. Maybe, probably not. An S5 battery works in it. Don't believe me? There it is. <laughs> so the M horse does work. We just need to uh, pinch the uh, Samsung uh, startup there. Just need to uh, cable tie the. Uh, battery in and it should be fine. See? No service. It works. The battery is getting low. That's fine. And it, I killed it. Okay, well that works, so I'll have to come back to that another day. Well, it's unlikely, I'm going to try power up the LG with this BL5C for some reason. Probably not going to work. No. That's because it's the wrong one. That's the right one. No, that's not the right one. I probably have an LG battery somewhere. It's a matter of where. This one. Uh, so this I'll have to factory reset, which I think by memory, you hold volume down and power. I think volume down power. And then you let go and keep holding volume down. 
It should pop up. I don't think so. Did you know that the LG logo is Pac-Man? If you don't believe the conspiracy, go look it up. I'm serious. Okay, so according to a guide that I found online, press and hold the power buttons on the back of the device. When the LG logo appears, release and then re-hold the power button while holding that to get to the volume button. No, that didn't make sense. I've been sitting here for a couple of minutes trying to factory reset this and I can't do it. Got it. Finally. This one I'm gonna need a battery for. Would it not be hilarious if I powered off this tiny little BL5C battery? And it does. A BL5C battery can power an Android phone. With rocket speed. And a snake. What is even going on here? Whoa, look at that Android logo. Wow. Good stuff. Oh, I slipped. I slipped. It's an emergency. We need to hold it in. I'll just hold it in place the whole time. So I'll just hold it like that and not let go. You know, I don't have many to go. I say that, but I've actually got quite a lot. That's all right. Wow, that's not ripping off anything. I think the touch is screwed. Wow. It works. Off a, off a BL5C. 3100 milliamp hours. I just powered it off a, what, 850 milliamp hour one? Uh, what about a Zoppo one? Yeah, no, I think I'm going to have to try and find a battery for this one too, because it's really, really in a strange place. And even if I was to, no... So I'm going to have to find one for that one. Why don't we try the Texan? Maybe that's the name, Texan. That would make sense. Texan. This should work off a Nokia battery. I mean, like, it would make sense if it did. This is a welcome to. <laughs> oh, God. Everything is perfect. Wow. It's like the shitty OS. Just in... Yeah, it's touchscreen. What does the front screen look like? Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Amazing. So that works with a Nokia battery. See, Nokia battery, universal, universally loved for a reason. So the LG, I'm just letting it set up at the moment. I think it's running Android 4.4 point something. 5.0.2, okay. The Note Edge, I have two of them. As you can see, both have cracked displays, but they both work. I don't know which one's gonna actually switch on. Probably both of them, to be honest. I have been made a liar of so many times. Don't tell me these Note Edges are dead. Come on, man. Don't do this to me now. See, this is how stupid I am sometimes. I forget. I put sticky tape to make sure that they don't switch on accidentally. It's a good method, but sometimes it takes me a while to figure out what I have done wrong. Now, with that being said, this should just power on straight away. For fuck's sakes. Come on. Show me a battery icon. Unless the battery is dead. Or the OLED is dead. Either way. Okay, I got a battery that works. Just need some time. I'm good. No. Nah. The OLED may still work because it's not vibrating. Nothing, unfortunately. So I may have to swap around some motherboards and stuff like that, which, yeah, we'll see. I don't know why I have two of them in my collection. I don't recall why. Yeah, I'm gonna have to swap around some, um, some boards. As I said, I'm not gonna go through extensive testing. I just wanna try some things, see if they work, go from there sort of thing. I'll just plug that in for no reason. Um, but the G3, that works, um, the G3 Beat, sorry, this should, should power this, should. Come on, do your thing. Damn it. Oh, the contacts don't even meet. I'm just going to try a bunch of other batteries, because why not? I have this Samsung one here. Let's see if this powers it up. This should have charge, hopefully. It does not power it up. You are making a liar out of me, phone. Could plus be on the right? Oh, no, hang on. There we go. Got it, finally. Yay. Oh, wait, what? It's probably because it's uh, the wrong battery. That would probably explain a lot of things. Let me just plug it in. Where's the power? Progress. Yes. Start up. Damn it. Yay. Man's are getting tired holding it in the same place. Ah. I probably do have a battery, but yeah, it just died. It works. 
We just need a battery. I think. So this Optus one works, doesn't it? Yay. Um, I do have this H Mobile one here. Did I try this? I don't think I did, did I? The volume... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Yep. Okay, great. This works. Good. wonder if I could use the battery from this. Okay. Alright, shush. So that one didn't work, but one of these should. If not, I'll just plug a charger into it. But I'm pretty sure a Nokia battery should power this thing on. I say that, but I'm not really confident. I have a feeling one of these is uh, cooked. I don't know which one though, but one of them should do something. Okay, that one is at 55%. So I'm gonna leave that to the side for a second. And I'm gonna plug the charger into this and hopefully we get some thing. I doubt it. Oh, there we go, hello. See? Nokia, man. Gotta love it. Oh. Okay. But you didn't want to power on. Oh, you want to power on now. Um, so what we do is just put our pry tool underneath the film. That's pre-applied to this. Somehow. Whoa, sick startup, bruh. Nice. Well, I got another generic key phone that works. Actually, we'll just see what the uh, the system looks like and I'll take off the film. There we go. Android 4-ish. Premium light. Did it say premium light? Well, it works off a Nokia battery. That's good. It has the Play Store. Uh, about phone 4.0.3? 4.4.2. Model number, Android. Dual core. Good stuff. I'm glad it works though. At least I didn't waste money on it. We grab the film off it. Does it have a film? Yes, it does. So let's see some magic. Ready? Watch this magic. And there you go. Brand new condition. Look at that. I have found a battery from a welcome phone. I don't know what one it is though. But I think this should fit perfectly in here for some reason. Yeah, it's close enough. That'll be fine. I mean, the battery is swelling, so uh, that could be potentially the reason. This failed the spin test, which uh, means it's swollen. We could try a Samsung. No, I can't do a Samsung one. Could try an LG. No, I can't try an LG one. Huh, I might have to look through welcome devices for the Zopo one. Zopo, Zopo, doesn't really matter. Oppo. That I made is still not charging. Feels warm, but no, nothing. I'll try that another day, I think, because I have a Motorola here, and I want to use this battery in one of the other Motorola's, so I'll just plug that in and charge that up. I think it works. Yeah, it works. We should try the iRiver. See what kind of music's on here. See what tunes we can groove to. Also, we might test that tablet too. I so have to make a list of what I'm doing because I, I've lost completely whatever I was doing. I've got the Simon's phone, let's call it that. Three Motorola's, the Nokia 5510. An S4 Mini, an S5 Mini, that Sony Ericsson, the S8 Snapdragon, the S6 Edge, which we know works. Uh, the iPod, the Fairphone, Note 2, uh, the Moto, and the two Note screens, Pixel, the Duos phones, and the Pendo tablet. So we'll try the Pendo, no, it's not a Pendo, it's an um, Amicro. Amicro, didn't they make uh, USB flash drives at one point in their lifetime? They probably did. I'm pretty sure they did. They made RAM, I think, as well. They made a lot of things. Hey, there we go. <sighs> ah. Good stuff. Uh, I want to see if this is bullshitting, because uh, I don't believe it has a full HD screen. <laughs> I mean, prove me wrong. Let's see how clear that is, the naked eye. Uh, it's acceptable. Okay, I'm putting device info on here, because I call BS on this full HD. I mean, it doesn't say display. All right, I'll give it that. 4.2.2, 800 by 480. I told you. A rock chip, 512 meg RAM, 32 gig flash, no, that's my SD card, that's 32 gig. It's a dual core, Mali 400 MP, what a powerhouse. The rock chip, what is the rock chip? Oh yeah, the refresh rate is 86.6 hertz, that's insane. Uh, 512 meg, 32 gig, yep, camera, 0 0.3 megapixel, yeah, 1080p, my butt. That was fun, that was a waste of time. <laughs>
That can go in the uh, pile of tablets I have out in my garage that I don't have plans to do anything with apart from them just sitting there and gathering dust in a shoebox. I have perfectly good reasons why I do these things. Let's try and get this iRiver going while I have the Motorola charging. Is that charging? Yeah, that's charging the battery. That's good. Good stuff. All right, so we need to find a chunk of an adapter. It's only five volt, so we need to have a look here and find one that fits. So we just do process of elimination. Boop, doesn't fit. Boop, doesn't fit. Boop, doesn't fit. This one could fit. That does not fit. They will not fit. Either one, that won't fit. This could fit. That does fit. Aha, see, told you we got one. Cool. Now we plug it in. And hopefully we get magic. Maybe it's the wrong charger. Maybe it takes a while to power on. I'll just leave it then. Let me try this Motorola battery in one of the uh, other phones. So let's see if the Dolce & Gabbana one works. Nice. Does it have fancy like startup tone or something like that? Like, cause it's luxury? Like you'd think that would be the case, wouldn't you? I'd assume so anyways. Handset will be set to airplane mode. Nope. Who flies in airplanes nowadays anyways? I don't think the buttons work. Maybe it's just too slow? I don't know. Maybe I'm not giving it enough time. Too bad if I needed to dial an emergency. It's just telling me, please wait. I think it froze. Oh, it has the Dolce & Gabbana there. Nice. I have never seen that on a V3. I think there's some problems with it. I can just put another V3i motherboard in it and call it a day. But then I kind of need the Dolce & Gabbana stuff on here. Why did it not work? I think I can flash the V3 somehow. Yeah, something's really wacky with it. Let me just like take the this out, put that in there again, and just plug it into charge and leave it. Don't touch it. Nope. Battery low cannot program. What the fuck, man? I've never seen that before. It clearly booted up before and then I killed it. Let's leave that and then we'll come back to another day, Paul. I'm holding the battery in place on the Motorola. I think it works. Yeah, it displays and turns off. I need a battery for it. I need batteries for everything. The other one displays too. See, for a split second. I just need to get the batteries for it and it should be good to go. But it remains why the V3 doesn't start up. Maybe I could take it to Motorola and claim under warranty. You know what, I'm gonna plug it in. We're gonna just not touch it. Do not touch. Do not look at it. Don't stare at it the wrong way. Don't even pretend you're looking at it. Just just ignore it. There is not a Motorola booting up on my desk. Mm-mm. Nope. Nah. -uh. It's not doing anything. Also, that iRiver's not doing anything either. That's a bit concerning. Oh, it's getting really, really late, fellas. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to start writing everything down that's wrong with the phones that I need to work out when I come back. I'll get all the parts ready and uh, we'll continue on. But I have a feeling I want to build this Nokia off camera because um, I have a feeling it's going to take a long time. But at the same time, no, I want to I want to show it. I want to show it. Once again, I'm uh, quitting on a job lot because I filmed for too long. It's all right. I'll figure it out. All right, so that is the third failed job lot. And um, pretty much, as I said in the intro, the reason why this went abandoned is because I had too much work, I filmed too much footage, and I had plenty of other job lots to do anyway, so I don't know why I was doing this one. I had, I think, four job lots at that time to do, and I just didn't get around to doing them all. Um, I think I filmed one job lot using some of these phones possibly but they may have made an appearance on the channel before i'm not too sure i don't really remember yeah it was just you know during covid i you know was able to go out while it was you know all the restrictions were lifted and i go straight to airways grab a whole bunch of stuff and then film for hours and then go oh I've got too much here. What do I do? Do I just, do I continue on or do I just leave it? And for this one, yeah, I filmed three and a half hours worth and then just went, nah, nah, abandon it. And, uh, that's, that's where this video stands. So three years later, you finally get to see it. Uh, the most expensive job lot that I've ever done, the, mo the most amount of money that I've spent at e-waste in one go, $590. And that was for, yeah, 60 items, which I think is a pretty good deal, Leo. Considering, anyways, considering the fact. Yeah, I've I've got, I think I said six in the intro, but I've actually got five more separate job lots that need to be done that are abandoned. And then I've got probably, 
I don't know, two or three videos that are finished, but I never published them. So they'll have to go up on the channel one day, but I just figured I'd get this one done because I've got my abandoned wear on the to-do list and I had some time, so I've just done it over the last couple of days and threw it all together. It's nothing fantastic, you know, as you've already seen. It's better than nothing. It's better than no job lot at all. A lot of people ask for it, so at least you get some form of a job lot, even though it's unfinished and stuff. But yeah, there you go. That's, that's this one. I really can't say... Um, much more about this one. It's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, three years <laughs> it took me to do this one. The big job lot that I've got, I really want to do that, but it's just more than 24 hours of footage. That's going to be absolutely crazy, but maybe when I've got absolutely nothing to do, when things slow down, I'll work on it, but for now, I think we'll just leave everything as it is. Yeah, I, I hope you all, you know, enjoyed this one for what it was. And uh, let me know what you thought of this one down in the comments below. If you've made it this far, uh, appreciate you. If not, uh, that's fine. I'm just rambling to myself here. Unless you've fallen asleep and you're hearing me talk to you. Uh, wake up. Ah, scary. Ah, uh, uh, no, that's fine. Keep sleeping. <laughs> it's all good. Um, all right, I'm going to go now. Thank you all so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Until the next time, uh, take care, stay safe, be good people. And I'll see you all very soon for a proper review and not just these bummed out videos. <laughs> Can I even call them that? I'm going to call it that. All right. Take it easy, everyone. Keep being awesome. I'll see you soon. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.